walking And that's just what I'll do One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you All right, so check it out. Y'all know I live in Nashville, Tennessee And there are a few things that Nashville is famous for. Okay, so there's those crazy cowboy hats You can't go anywhere without seeing someone with a cowboy hat Get out of here, cowboy hat. And then you got those cowboy boots. Everywhere you go, you see the people with the cowboy boots. Boots in the summertime, boots in the wintertime. There's also country music. I mean, Nashville is known for its awesome country music. And there's one more thing Nashville is uh, crazy about or known for. It. it is its world famous hot chicken. And that's what we're gonna do today, guys gonna be nice simple ingredients but it's something Nashville is known for and I'm gonna show you guys how to make Nashville's hot chicken so stick around all right so it's funny how this whole Nashville hot chicken thing came about like 80 years ago there was a young lady who was dating a guy who liked to sleep around right he was a womanizer so what she wanted to do was get him back. So what she did was put a whole lot of spices in his hot chicken, and his chicken, his fried chicken, because she wanted to burn his mouth. Come to find out that he liked it, boom, and it exploded. That was the invention of Nashville hot chicken. Little story for you guys. So what I'm gonna do now is real simple, season this real quick, and then I'm gonna uh, let it marinate in some buttermilk. Quick, simple seasoning. And what I have here is just chicken. I have two leg quarters, two wings, and I have two thighs, okay? If you want chicken breast, you can go ahead and cook chicken, use chicken breast. So, what I'm gonna do is season this chicken with about two tablespoons of salt, okay? Now, what I did, I washed the chicken very thoroughly. I pan it dry, like I always do, and then I'm gonna hit it with the seasoning. Now, this seasoning is gonna have to be very simple because it's gonna be all about the uh, chicken, the hot chicken sauce that we're gonna make. So I got some salt in there, then I got some fresh ground black pepper that I'm grinding in there. And that's about two teaspoons each, but totally up to you how much you wanna use, guys. And then, just to give it a little bit more depth, I'm gonna hit it with some lemon pepper sauce, lemon pepper seasoning, a couple of tablespoons. Then, here's the kicker, guys. I have some buttermilk here. The enzymes in the buttermilk are gonna break down the enzymes and the fat of this chicken, and it's gonna make it so tender. So I'm gonna put the buttermilk over the chicken like that there, and then you guys know me by now, I'm always kicking it up some. I'm gonna hit it with this hot sauce. After I hit it with the hot sauce, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this around real good, let it marinate in the refrigerator for at least two hours. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, and I'll be right back. Boots are made for walking. All right, so I have my chicken out of the refrigerator. It's been a couple hours. I went and took a nap. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do now is cut my biggest pieces of chicken first, and I'm just rolling it around in some flour. I took some flour and I added some seasonings to it. Whatever seasonings you like, we call it, we call it seasoned flour. How original is that? <laughs> so I got this chicken right here. I'm gonna roll it around, and then I'm gonna drop this chicken in a 350 degree fryer. So that's how they do it in Nashville. All right, chicken's going down. Take another big piece of chicken. Oh yeah, y'all hear it frying. Take another chicken. And then I'm just gonna keep dropping this chicken in, guys. And when, while this chicken is cooking, when I come back, I show you guys how to make that world famous Nashville hot oil that we dip the chicken in when it comes out of the fryer. I cannot wait. Man, oh man, this chicken is smelling and looking good. Take a whiff of that, guys. Take a whiff. Y'all see that chicken right there? Man, it looks good. So I want it to be nice and crispy. See how beautiful that looks? You still got a little bit of ways to go, man. Check out this leg, though. Man, don't play with me. It got about five more minutes. So let's go over here. I'm going to show y'all how we make this hot oil in Nashville for this hot chicken. Okay, so I'm going to start off with two tablespoons of chili powder. All right, I'm going to add that in. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of sweet paprika. Okay, add that in there. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. Now, remember those alarms that we had going off? Eh, eh, eh. This is up to you how much cayenne pepper you want to put in here, but I'm going to start off with a teaspoon. 
Then I have a tablespoon of salt and a teaspoon of ground black pepper. I'm gonna add that in, guys. All right, and then I got a tablespoon of garlic powder. Add that in. Okay, so that's the base. And I have two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm gonna add that in. What I'm gonna do is whisk this together real quick, okay? Break up that brown sugar. Yeah, it's looking good already. Then we take can canola oil, okay? We're gonna take some canola oil, all right? And we're gonna add that to the mix. You see how that's turning dark and brown and starting to separate and come together? Not separate, but man, everything's coming together. Now I'm gonna add about a cup of the oil, okay? So what we do with this, guys, we take the fried chicken, we either dip it in there, or you can brush it on if you're a little scared. We dip it in there, and then that's that's the essence and the flavor of the brown chick of the uh, fried chicken. So I'm gonna continue whisking this up. The chicken's about ready, and we're about ready to put this dish together. Man, so this chicken is ready. So what I'm gonna do is start pulling the chicken out. It's nice and crispy. Remember, guys, always have a lined paper towel ready to go when you're making fried chicken. We're gonna pull this out. Let that drain. Man, look how crispy that is, man. Looks so good. I'm gonna show you guys how crispy this is. And it has to be crispy because once you dunk it in that sauce, y'all hear that? Let's check this out. Man, nice and crispy fried chicken. This is gonna be so good. I cannot wait to eat this Nashville's fried chicken. So I'm gonna let that drain a little bit. And then, guys, I'm gonna put everything together. We are almost there, guys. All right, so man, it's time to put this together. So this is how I'm gonna say we do it. I know I'm from Miami, Florida, all my people in Miami, just chill out, just, just calm down. But this is how we do the chicken in Nashville, the hot chicken. So, all right, what we do is that oil that we made. Man, it tastes so good. I tasted it, man, it's so good. I take that oil, right? And what I do is just drizzle some of that oil on the bottom of the plate like that with bread. And with this chicken right here, all you need is some bread, guys. All you need is some bread. So I take that bread, drizzle it with the chicken on there, and then I take my chicken, right? I take my chicken breast, right? Uh, my chicken, and then I toss it in the sauce. Oh, yes, this is what I am talking about. And I put that right here, all right? And then I take a leg, and I just dump it in that Nashville hot chicken sauce, right? I take that leg. Doesn't this look good, man? Oh, man. And I place that right there, guys. And then I take that wing, man. Take that, and I toss that in that sauce. The paprika, the cayenne pepper, man, the sugar, the brown sugar, the salt. I take that, guys, and I dump it in there. And I put that right here, all right? Let's put one more piece. Let's put another leg on there, okay? Take that leg. Toss it in there. Y'all see how crispy that is? Man, take that leg, put it right here. Beautiful, right? Then I take some more of that sauce and I drizzle it on top, guys. Just like that. Man, it's looking so good. And then what I do, because I like a little bit of sweet with my heat, even though it had a little bit in there, just to give it a little bit more, what's that you put in that chicken type thing? I take some honey, right? I take some honey and I just drizzle it lightly. Just lightly drizzle that honey over my Nashville hot chicken. And then one more thing we do in Nashville, man. We do not eat this chicken without pickle, right? So I take a pickle and I put it right there. And there you guys have it, man. Check it out. This is Chef J-Rod's version of Nashville's hot chicken. Wow, that looks good, man. Hey guys, check it out. Don't forget to check out my website, www.masterkingchefjrod.com. Also, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that notification button on the bottom, because anytime I go live or put up a video, you guys will be the first ones to know. All right, man, check this out. Now, what I'm going to do is clean all this up. We're going to do what we do, take some pictures, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm going to taste this for you guys, so I't go anywhere. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm so excited about this, man. Y'all don't understand, man. Like, 
Me and chicken, like I can eat chicken every day of the week, man, especially my own. All right, so let's get in here with this, man. I hate to mess this up. Man, so what I'm gonna do is take some of that bread, all right? Cause that's the whole point of it. See how it's drenched in that oil and that seasonings? Yeah, I'm gonna take a piece of that bread. I'm gonna bite this chicken. Y'all check it out now. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that thing. Mm, 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 mm. With that bread. Mm. Man. This is me pat myself on the back. This has so much flavor. It tastes the acidity of the hot sauce and the flavor of the buttermilk when it marinated. Then guys, you get nice crisp on the outside. That sauce with the paprika, the cayenne, the brown sugar, the oil. Oh man, this is so good, man. And then you get it through the pickle. Give it that nice tang. Man, you guys already know. That is fire right there. That is straight fire. Hey guys, remember, always keep God first in your life and everything will fall into place. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. On the pontoon. Something, something, something.